is good everybody welcome back to another my am toys video today we have another installment of the massive box series the first episode we did cover seth freaking rollins my man we burned it down we took a big old look at all of his figures some customs some fix-ups things of that nature from my personal collection it was the same box we're going to use the same box every single time if you guys missed that first episode of the massive box series be sure to go check it out on the channel but today guys we have the phenom the undertaker the dead man has made his way into the massive box series and we're going to unbox this massive box full of Undertaker figures taking a look at every single one I'm going to tell you about it everything that at least I know about it and give you my personal opinion of the figure all of that good jazz just like we did with the Seth Rollins stuff so with that being said guys let's dive right in so I guess guys we could start off with the first figure right here and this is the defining moments I could be wrong I I'm pretty sure this is the defining moments this and the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Undertaker are very similar and I do think this is the defining moments. If somebody can help me out, I'm pretty sure this is it. But I think this is one of the most underrated Undertaker figures they have ever made. I think it's highly detailed. I love the head sculpt. I love the Ministry Taker head scan. I love the big elbow pads. I just think this is a really sweet looking Undertaker. This is the reason that I use this Undertaker in my MDT Royal Rumble. Um, the one I uploaded around the time of the Royal Rumble, you know, where uh, Goldberg farted in Jason Jordan's face. If you guys missed that Royal Rumble, definitely go check it out on the channel. It's an action figure match and it's not pick fed style it's actually just a figure match and uh, I wanted to use this one especially with the entrance gear on there guys this is a beautiful figure so I wanted to do it justice so this is the one I use but great looking Undertaker next up guys we have the Elite 55 Undertaker this is the big evil Undertaker this is the basically the re-release of the Elite 18 and I actually have my Elite 18 right here but this one's all beat to hell look at that loosey goosey arm right there Jesus Christ the only difference between these figures really is the side logo these are from uh, the early 2000s right here you can see it says Big Evil and on this one it says Dead Man Inc. I actually thought about switching the legs since these are on ball joints I may switch the legs on these and have my uh, pretty much an Elite 18 remastered or restored if you will because this one's all beat up I mean the tattoos are falling off the arms loose I could probably repurchase an Elite 55 Undertaker way easier than an Elite 18 because the Elite 18 is one of the more rarer Undertaker figures I haven't checked the price since the Elite 55 re-released but uh, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. So I'm pretty sure I could, you know, go go buy another Elite 55, switch these legs, and that would work out better. But, you know, it is what it is. Great looking figure. I was super happy when they re-released this. Um, even though it's not an exact re-release, like I said, the, the side decal is different. But a great figure nonetheless. Both of these are terrific. Next up, guys, we have a fix-up of the, uh, the WrestleMania 32 Undertaker. And this actually looks pretty similar. If you guys know, if you check your local Walmart, the WrestleMania 35 Undertaker looks pretty much just like this but I made this way long before we got that figure guys this is the Wrestlemania 32 figure and I head swapped it for the basic 74 Undertaker and this fix up looks phenomenal I think this is a perfect rendition of Undertaker it kind of looks like his early or mid 2000s look not early 2000s because obviously he was biker taker at that point but mid 2000s 2004 you know when uh, he returned to Wrestlemania 20 this is kind of what he looked like then and it looks just like the Wrestlemania WrestleMania 35 Elite. Let me go ahead and grab it. It's actually not in the box. I couldn't fit it in the box, so I'll go ahead and grab it down. So it's kind of interesting, guys. I actually had an extra WrestleMania 32 taker up there as well. So this is what the figure originally looked like. I took the basic 74 Undertaker, which is a basic, which is one of the best Undertaker head scan. I think it's the best Undertaker head scan. And here is the WrestleMania 35 Elite on the right. And you guys can see when we remove the hat, this hair color looks a lot better to me. I actually like this head scan more. This is the True Effects head scan. And I would like to know down below, you guys like the True Effects or do you like the Basic 74? I like the Basic 74, man. I just feel like the True Effects may be missing something. I think it may be the facial hair and the hair is just too light or something. But this is uh, from his match with Roman Reigns. And this is more of just a taker that I'll use if he ever comes to the pick fed. This is probably the one I'll use if Undertaker ever shows up. But we will have to see about that. But they, these are your... Your Undertaker fix-ups. Um, again, favorite taker outside of that ministry San Diego or Defining Moments Undertaker, I think this one is my favorite. It just looks so beautiful. It captures Undertaker perfectly in a figure. It's just it's just magnificent. Up next, guys, it looks like we have an early series Undertaker. This is the Elite 8, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the Elite 8 with the entrance jacket on there. I think we may have an Elite 8 in here somewhere without the entrance gear on there, so we'll take a look at that afterwards. Or we can just do it at the same time. You guys can see this is the Elite 8 Undertaker with the entrance gear, and this is the Elite 8 without the entrance gear. And I like this head. 
said, it's kind of like a, a grimacing face, and I actually had a fix-up idea. I thought about painting the eyes white, and it would be like he's doing his signature eyes roll in the back of his head thing that, you know, The Undertaker's known for. You can see he has like a red, white demon slash bat graphic on the side. You guys know he always does the demon graphics and stuff like that, the skulls and stuff. This is more of a singlet Undertaker, so probably around 2008, 2009 look, 2010 and it looks great. I'm I'm liking both. I, 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 I'm so glad I have, you know, two different versions. I have the entrance gear version, and then I have the one without. They both have the big elbow pad. They both look good, and they're actually both in great condition, so that is good. For an early series Undertaker, you can't go wrong with the Elite Eight. Next up, guys, we have two different releases here, and I'm actually, I gotta find his hat. What happened to his hat? Here's the hat. Let's go ahead and plop it on his skull. So what we have here, guys, is two different releases of the Elite 23 Taker, and I don't know if you guys can tell this is actually the elite 23 taker and it's in a lot better condition than my uh you guys remember that series? It was like Elite 40, not Elite 44.5, but it was something like that. I think it was called the Lost Legends series or something. You remember that one random time in 2015 or 2016 where they re-released a couple figures? It was like Chris Jericho, Kamala, HBK, Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior. I think TA Mangum may have been, or Magnum or whatever may be in that series. But this is the Lost Legends from that series, and this is the Elite 23 originally. And this one's so much better, guys, and I'm about to show you why. First of all, I think the head is more deep detailed and secondly this is a fidget spinner look at how bad that waist joint is look how loose that is it's the most loose waist joint i've ever had in my entire collection um i love the pale skin on these takers it just uh, replicates undertaker from that time period so much better than later on in his career where you know he got tan and they would let him get dark and stuff but look how terrible this is I hate this. I want to repurchase this figure, but I've heard that people have had problems with this figure. If anybody knows how to fix this, please let me know. This is just terrible. I've been dealing with this um, ever since I bought the figure, but that is just atrocious, man. I like the Elite 23 much better. Older figure, probably more rare, too, because this re-release is terrible, and especially if, you know, all of them uh, have that, that defect on them. Just, yeah, man, just not good. Not good stuff, man. And this head sculpt's better anyway. Next up, guys, we have another Undertaker. I think this is from Russell WrestleMania 30, where the streak was broken. He lost to Brock Lesnar. Obviously, where the streak came to an end, he's got the red and black coat. I hate this coat. I would like to buy one of the trench coats that we've seen. Uh, one of the, you know, the, the, the one that we saw on the WrestleMania figures. I would like to get one of those and then custom paint it. I don't think it would be that hard to do. Or I'll get somebody to make me one or something. I just hate these rubber coats, man. They're so pathetic and garbage. You can't even move them. Can't even move his arms. How's he supposed to walk down the aisle? And how's he supposed to choke slam guys? and all that good stuff. With his entrance gear on, if he can't even move, man, on the sides, he's got his Taker logo. I always love the Taker logo. It looks so good. I love the red on there. It's got like a skull and like a whip chain going through it. It looks great, man. Good stuff. This is his uh, head skin where he, you know, had the mohawk and stuff. I may repaint that. It kind of looks weird. I don't know. He also could use maybe some uh, dark makeup under the eyes. And I'm actually going to be using one of the, I have an extra of this head sculpt. I'm probably going to use it to make a custom, which you guys will see in a few days maybe. But that is the WrestleMania 30 Taker looking absolutely beautiful in the red and black. Next up, guys, we have another Taker. And I th I can't remember. Somebody help me out down in the comment section below. Which Undertaker is this? Is this where he took on CM Punk? I can't remember exactly which attire this is. But or maybe Triple H. I can't remember. I think it's CM Punk, though. He's got the yellow and the uh, the... The yellow and the darker yellow slash gray tones on there. It's got R.I.P. Paul Bearer on the side there with the coffin. Very nice, paying homage to Paul Bearer. Great looking Taker figure. I like the shaved head look again here. This is that weird face he went through where he uh, had the short hair, much like you saw in the WrestleMania 30. I think this is WrestleMania 29 Punk. Again, I could be wrong, so be sure to crucify me down in the comment section below. But there's that. Next up, guys, we have another Defining Moments Undertaker. This is the one without the entrance gear. You guys saw at the beginning of the video, we had the one with the entrance gear. This is without it, and I just love it, man. So detailed. I love the faded hair he has on the sides. The hair sculpt is one of a kind. It's just such good stuff, man. You got all these buckles and stuff going down on the boots. I mean, it's truly underrated, just truly underrated, and it's shelf-warmed like a hoe, so I feel so bad for the figure because it literally just rotted on shelves. So, um, it's unfortunate. It's a beautiful-looking figure. It's just, you know, I guess a lot of people just didn't want it, man. It's it's and it's so sad to see because it's such a great figure. If you guys don't own the Defining Moments Undertaker, definitely go grab it. Next up, guys, we have a Hall of Champions Target exclusive Undertaker. This is where he was a tag team champion with the Big Show in the late 90s, looking good with the red going around uh, my boy B. 
Beast Nation has made some different fix ups of this figure where he painted the Taker logo on the chest gray. He's done like the green outline. He's done a bunch of different fix ups. They look fantastic. And I would like to buy a few of these so I can do the same thing. I mean, the Taker shelf is pretty big, but it's not as big as it could be. There's so many different fix ups and different figures because the Undertaker, obviously, in his long, illustrious career, he's had so many different looks that I want to replicate them all in figure form. But you got the Taker logos and the red outline on the trunks. Very good looking figure. I like the head scan on this one as well and it's just good stuff man really cool stuff next up guys i think this oh my god he's all beat to hell this one has like highlighter marks on him and chest marks on him but i think this is the elite one undertaker if i'm not mistaken it's got the logo on the side in gray there i actually have another one on the shelf with the trench coat and all that on and it looks a lot better than this because it's not beat up to hell but it does have the trench coat on there but uh you guys will see here it's uh i think this is the first undertaker head scan the first undertaker elite that we ever got from mattel so taking a trip down memory lane you have the most recent release right here which is the wrestlemania 35 and then you have the first ever so Pretty cool stuff to see, you know, that time loop there. You have the first and the, it won't be the last. They love Undertaker. They love pumping out those figures. So we will get more, but it's kind of cool to see the most recent and then the first. And for our last two figures, guys, we have, oh my God, he lost his freaking hat. Put your hat back on. You trying to embarrass me? For our last two figures, guys, we have two different figures. We have the debut WrestleMania 31 Heritage Undertaker Elite. This figure is based off of his debut in 1990, I do believe, but I think it's based off of his look from from WrestleMania in 1991, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can help me out down in the comment section below. I know it was part of the WrestleMania Heritage line, which, you know, uh, we just got the WrestleMania 33 Undertaker and the WrestleMania 35 line. This was the WrestleMania 31 Heritage line, but it is a uh, kind of the way he looked. I think it was the way he looked at WrestleMania that following year, but it does match his exact look from Survivor Series, I think, when he debuted in 1990 in November or so. And then we have this fix up here, which is the same figure, except I took a SummerSlam basic heritage throwback Undertaker from like 94 maybe or maybe uh, 92 I can't remember the year again and I switched the arms on there and it's a little bit later in his career it's got the dead man eyes there longer hair darker hair looking and Undertaker just looking crazy there so when you put them all on the shelf guys it's really cool to see from the beginning of his career to the latter and it's uh, that's what I love doing with my shelves is taking the beginning of their career and as it progresses down the shelf you can see them kind of developing you know telling their story, changing their gimmicks, changing, changing their looks throughout their career, and that's what I wanted to do, so that is the point in uh, collecting all the different figures of different people, but you guys can see here, um, this is the last two Undertakers that we have in this Massive Box Full Undertaker Edition. But that pretty much does it for this episode of the Massive Box Full of Action Figure Series on the Phenom, the Undertaker. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below your favorite Undertaker figure from this video, whether it be the debut or the WrestleMania 35 or any of those figures in between. Between. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Comment down below which, which superstar you would like to see in the next installment of the Massive Box series. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.